Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Ampro Engineering. This is going to be another installment of the My Car series. And due to a considerable amount of demand about my other RC10s, I've gone ahead and made another video about my last RC10. So we'll start with the basics here. This car was completely cobbled together by a bunch of junk I had laying around in my team associated bin. So I used to have a Rubbermaid tub full of RC10 parts and that was all consolidated into this. So I do still have some parts for an RC10, but by, by and large, they were turned into two cars. And I think that it's more valuable to have operational cars than just bins of crap that you're never gonna go through. The body of this car is one of the few things that actually wasn't in the junk bin. This is my RC10's original race body. I ran this body for years and years and years at m, &M Raceway. This was the first body that I actually used when I was sponsored by Novak. The, decals I made from an autographics decal sheet. They're similar to the ones on my RC10 B2, except obviously I use the blue ones here. This is an original team associated body. Again, this was probably painted in around 1990, I want to say about 98. And really, despite the, you know, probably hundreds of races this car has been in, this is the original wing I painted. You know, it's, it's, it's banged up. I put this tape on the back to help prevent the paint from rubbing through and it worked pretty well. Really in terms of cracks, there's one there and there that I just noticed, a little tiny one right up here in the front, but overall that's it. This body's in really, really good shape. It's not a body that I run anymore. It has been retired, but the chassis here didn't have a body. So I threw it on just to kind of uh, have it as a nice home for it. A lot of these parts, I have, I have no idea where they came from. What I do know is the chassis was originally on an RC10T that I'd found at a yard sale for like three bucks. Everything was banged up on the car, but the chassis seemed to be in pretty darn good shape. I got a matching nose plate. I used to have a gold one that is now on a different, oh, it's the one that's on my other RC10 now. The front A-arms, there's, I mean, everything on this car is just utterly worn out. I mean, this roll pin is too long. Actually, all the roll pins are too long. There's a lot of slop in everything. The front shocks are the old standard gold anodized ones, whereas the rear ones are the hardened anodized ones. It does have a low band radio, although I am going through a uh, ditching of all of my, or at least the vast majority of my low band radios right now. I don't recognize this steering setup here, so I'm pretty sure that it's from the 10T and not the original RC10. It does run a Futaba S148 receiver with a Kimbro servo saver. The receiver currently is a Futaba FPR122JE to the Futaba connoisseur. I'm sure that means something. The speed control is kind of the wrong one for this car. It is a Cyclone from Novak. The TC2 was designed for touring cars, but I had it in a drawer and it was better in the car. You'll notice a trend on a lot of my RC cars where the uh, motor wires are too long, or I should say any of the wires are too long. But again, it's simply because I don't want to cut them for this particular application. If the speed control moves, I want to be able to you know, have enough uh, wire where I can not have to solder new ones on. And these are replacement Novak 14 gauge Superflex wire. Or these may actually be 12 gauge. This ESC does have this big capacitor here, which a number of the later, oh, well, it's taped in place. A number of the later Cyclones had. It is stealth equipped and full bearings. The motor is a Reedy OS, is that GS, GC, G? Oh my gosh, I can't even tell. It's a Reedy motor. And it is a 36 degree stock, as I recall. Uh, pretty quick one too. It's been years since I've run this motor on a track, but it, it runs really darn well. In terms of tires, these are, again, just junk that I had in the drawer. The rears are slicks, which seem to work pretty well around my neighborhood, as well as the office when I bring it there. The front tires do have matching front ones. Uh, unfortunately, they're beyond bald. They're all shredded. So I've got to find some new tires for those. 
So I've got these old associated wheels, which are mounted on, on bushings. This rear shock tower is actually the one from my original RC10 that it originally came with. It's just in such horrendous condition. There's a ton of splits in it. It's full of super glue. It, it's really in bad shape, which is why it was in the garbage bin anyway. This was also one of my original battery hold downs. You can see it's all cut up. And again, don't judge this car too much. It's put together by whatever stuff I had laying around. Same with the rear arms. These are pretty worn out units here. In fact, I think these are my original ones as well. These may be my original rear arms. Shocks on this entire car have been fully rebuilt. They were so filthy and I don't even know what was in them, but uh, they're all nicely rebuilt, have a nice, uh, you know, nice feel to them. They're all a little bit too loose right now, but they do seem to work pretty well. The front bumper, because everybody's always curious about this stuff. This is auto graphics that somebody had spray painted black. So it's definitely not very pretty. The gear cover here is RPM, like almost all of my cars. And it was missing the little cap in the center. So I just went ahead and printed a little Ampro one. So now it's got the little cover for the slipper. You can see all the rods here are simply threaded rod. These aren't actually proper RC turnbuckles, just stuff I had laying around. The rears, I love the rears. You've got a nice titanium one here and you've got a regular turnbuckle there. Just stuff in a bin. So that is about it with this car. It's uh, not a particularly nice vehicle. It is fully, actually it's fully operational. It runs nice. It's just not gonna win any uh, beauty contests. And I'm okay with that. Oftentimes when I go to the track with some friends who may not have RC cars, or if I bring my, uh, you know, any family, my sister, brother-in-law, my wife, it's good to just give them the control of a car that is fully operational, nice and sturdy. You know, they're, Probably not going to care that this thing's, you know, fully assembled out of some old scrap parts. So if this car teaches us anything is if you have a tub of junk, try and mush it all together in the shape of an RC car. And when you're done, you might have a car with some interesting character. Anyway, folks, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy this series of quick videos. We'll see you next time.